just six things, and I believe this is true, and I, I put them in kind of descending order of, of importance, and we can have a discussion about that after, whether you agree with me or not, but what are those six things? Number one, I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna yell them out. Number one is, don't smoke. If you smoke, nothing else matters from a health perspective. The World Health Organization says it will kill 50% of the people that do it, right? And, and this is a real thing. You know, I've met, you know, I've told this story often. I was walking down, I did a thing at CBC and I was walking down the street in, in Toronto. I was talking about, I believe it was gluten-free, and I was talking about sort of what I said today, and this woman came up to me in the street and said, you know, you are so wrong. How, you've got to get the toxins out of, you know where this is going, right? You've got to get the toxins out of your body. Uh, gluten is killing us, and she's smoking, right? <laughs> It's just ridiculous, and that happens all the time. Number two, so don't smoke. Number two, get exercise, real exercise. Live an active lifestyle, and you live in a fantastic city to do that. So vigorous exercise. I love this quote, and there's a many like it. Exercise easily surpasses the effectiveness of any drug or other medical treatment. I believe that to be true, and increasingly so. They have more and more evidence on that. Number three, seems like a cheat. It seems like I'm collapsing a whole bunch of stuff into, into one phrase, but I think it's true. You eat real food, right? You eat lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, you know, healthy protein. There is no magic. The real, for most of us, there is no magic. You eat real food, start with lots of fruits and vegetables. You know, 50% of what goes in your mouth should be a real fruit or vegetable, uh, and avoid the junk. But there are all these other diets out there, and I think for most of us, we can ignore the noise, focus on the real food. Uh, number four is a tough one. It's a tough one, and I've actually thought about collapsing it into number three because it is so tough. And I've talked to my colleagues at the Obesity Network, like Arya Sharma, uh, and he says, you know, keep it on. Because even if people aren't losing weight, you're probably, if you're thinking about weight management, your lifestyle is going to be better. And you know what? Just maintaining your weight is a good thing, right? So, uh, I, and there's such a big problem right now in the developed, and increasingly the developing world uh, on this issue. Number five, it's prevention. You know, wear a seatbelt. Um, wear a bike helmet. Um, these kinds, you know, get vaccinated. These kinds of very basic things. And number six, sleep. You gotta get your sleep. <laughs> get sleep. I think this is increasingly becoming important. There's more and more evidence around how valuable and how important getting sleep is. And you know, I might put a seventh on there. You know what the seventh would be? Relationships. You know, having good relationships. Again, the evidence is accumulating and how how important that is. We're starting to get a body of evidence uh, around how valuable that is.